What is up AMS and the YouTube universe? This is Mr. Baker and I'm back with another special episode of Every Day Teacher. Why do I say it's special? Well, you know, I would seem to think that Conan O'Brien or Jimmy Fallon and people, they have these guests that they want to get on the show, but for whatever reason, people just say no. Maybe they're too busy. Maybe they got more important things to do. I don't know, but I feel like today's guest is going to be a great interviewee. So let's get right to it. 20 minutes last week. I don't want to do that this week, mainly because the guest that's coming on today chooses their words wisely. We'll see how that goes. I'm just going to go ahead and call her on over if I could have Miss April <laughs> Dominguez come to the table. What's up, Miss Dominguez? Hello. All right. She said one word. We're rolling. <laughs> now, if you people are frequent viewers to our YouTube channel, you've seen Miss Dominguez on the camera, I believe, once. One time. Earlier on the year, and it was like pulling teeth out of a animal that has a lot of teeth. Uh, she was very nervous and exclaimed to me or explained to me that you know this side of the camera is not her thing however uh, I feel like everyday teacher is kind of her fault because Miss Dominguez came to me at the beginning of the year and said hey I want to do this news thing I want to do this video thing and we're like hey YouTube and then all of a sudden here we are and we're famous so we're famous yeah we're famous we're famous all around the world on YouTube so I asked Miss Dominguez would you please be a guest before the year's out she said yes. Yay. So, Miss Dominguez, you, you're familiar with how this goes, right? You, Absolutely. You've watched it from that side before, right? That's right. Had to hold yourself from laughing a few times? Every time. Just a few times. <laughs> I don't know. I got a feeling that we're going to be laughing. Well, she might this go around. I'm a little nervous. So you know what's coming, right? Kind of. Now, you said you were very nervous because you don't really know what questions were coming. No idea. You do know that you, you, uh, you can see these questions because you... You have folder access to these, so you could have known. Well, now I know. Yeah. So let's go ahead and start over. I didn't, I, I didn't figure I wanted to tell you that this morning. Yeah, no. Speaking of morning, here we go. First question, what's the first thing you do or think of when you get up in the morning? Uh, the first thing mm -hmm. is how many times can I hit snooze? So you're a snoozer. I'm a snoozer. So the alarm goes off, you sleep 15 minutes. How long does that take? Uh, well, I have about three alarms, maybe four alarm set every 15 minutes and if the baby wakes up the first time then I'm up but if she's still sleeping then I snooze at least three or four so you basically got two alarm clocks basically all right baby and clock that's right this is one just for you uh, as it's been observed by multiple staff members here at Argyle Middle School uh, there are multi many mornings you're in your car but you've yet to come into the school building uh, and you know you're putting on makeup or having a conference call or something. What do you think about while you're sitting in your car putting on makeup? <laughs> uh, uh, honestly, I think yeah. I think I can. I'm gonna get up and get out and get in, the, in into work and get going. So you just sit there and like I think I can. I do. I think I can. Basically, Psyching give myself up. a pep talk. That's right. exactly right. I do can you, do it. Do you play any certain music while you are thinking you can? Uh, sure. Yeah, I do. Okay, so is it? It's like upbeat music some days. Most days. Most days. All right. So you're getting hyped. That's it's right. Kind of like before people go to a football game or something or play. Exactly. All right. <laughs> what is your favorite thing to do outside of school? Outside of school, mm -hmm. so I mean, honestly, I just hang out with my kids, my family. We like to go to dinner. My kids both play sports, so we go to games and practice all the time. Oh, I just love hanging out with them. So you're much. always going anyway. So always going. We'll take it. Dinner was the answer. We're going out to dinner. Yeah, yeah. It's back to morning time, not dinner time. Breakfast burrito or biscuit? Which one you want? If I'm gonna make it at home, okay. breakfast burrito. Yeah. But if I'm gonna drive through somewhere, biscuit, like Chick-fil-A. Is that because you don't want the burrito, the vomit on, on you or whatever burritos do? Well, fall apart? Fall apart. No, honestly, I don't really like breakfast burritos from other places. I like Taco Cabana, but there's not really one around here. True, that's kind of like steak. I don't like steak from other places, but I'll eat one of mine. Exactly. Nice, I, I just wanna say at this moment, I appreciate your honesty. Oh, well, no problem. Yeah, well, you've been answering these questions, honestly. <laughs> Next question, what 90s hip-hop song best 
describes your personality? Uh, 90s hip hop, huh? Yeah, I, I put it in a nice little genre. Man, so I get, oh man, that's a hard one. Mm. Uh, While she's thinking, yeah. <laughs> I will say that this question came about because when Ms. Dominguez interviewed for the job, she was asked, you know, what, if you're stressed out about school or something, what would you do? And she said, well, I'll probably just pop in my 90s hip hop. So that's where this comes from. I don't remember saying that. Yeah, you totally said it. I'll give you a side question to this. Maybe you can come back later at the end and tell us what 90s hip hop song best describes your personality. I think this one's a little easier. So it's Friday. Okay. Right, now this video is out on Friday. So this is gonna happen in probably about an hour from when you're watching this viewers, depending on how fast my computer is exporting this video. Anyway, it's Friday, Ms. Dominguez. You get in your car and you're leaving work. You can play any song you wanna play to enter the weekend. What song you putting on the speakers? <laughs> Uh, well, actually, the last time we put on Outcast. Outcast? Yes. Which song? We were playing Hey Ya. Hey Ya. <laughs> yeah. All right. This is, That's a good one. This is a very good song on a Friday. Mm -hmm. Were y'all bouncing up and down in the seats? That's right. Okay. All right. So we'll go back to the other song. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Uh, were you in choir? Uh, yes, I was. You actually. were in choir? Yes, I was. I can't believe I figured this one out. Uh -huh. So were you in choir in like middle school? Or high school? <laughs> I'm assuming you already know the answer. I don't, really. Uh, I was in choir from middle school, and then in uh, high school, I went into varsity choir. Varsity? Did you get like a letter? I did. Wow. What I was did. your favorite song to sing in choir? Um, actually, the Hallelujah Chorus. That was my absolute favorite. Could you give us a little bit of it? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> so choir ended with high school? It ended, yeah, yeah. It, it ended, for okay. sure. Okay. Oh, hey, people out there, we need to find a spot for Ms. Dominguez to sing. I don't know sing, about that. You know? Okay. A All right, well, talent show, maybe? Yeah, let's put her in a teacher talent show. Maybe so. What's your favorite thing to cook? Oh, I love cooking. Um, we know about the breakfast burrito. I do like to make breakfast Yeah, burritos. but you got to have a go-to meal. I do. Chicken spaghetti. I oh. think that's going to be I've heard this my before. Favorite. All right. Well, so what kind of sauce? Is it a white sauce, a yellow sauce, or that's yellow, or red? Oh, Velveeta. So it's yellow. So in the middle, yellow. You got black oh, olives yeah. in there? Oh, no. No? No way. Pimentos? No way. Or pimentos? Sorry, Miss. No, I use, I use Rotel. Rotel and... Just whatever's in there. Velveeta and, yeah. So basically, you've got... Um, You've got a dip for chips and you just do noodles in <laughs> but it. Noodle? No, chicken, bell peppers, okay. onions. Yeah, that's in the Rotel. Sound better? Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> that does sound good. I might have to try this. It's pretty good. Sounds like I can just not use chips next time. Okay, so Miss Dominguez, you teach seventh grade, correct? I do, I do. All right, so that means we're at the part of the show where the last few guests have been very apprehensive about. It's now time to play Are You Smarter Than a Seventh Grader? <laughs> And if anybody can notice the giggles and grins that I'm getting is I, I've learned as I've done this that it's actually funny to me to ask some difficult questions. So uh, we'll see what happens. Quit trying to cheat, man. All right, first we're going to start with English. You okay. teach English. Okay. Okay, here we go. If roses are red and violets are blue, what color is Barney the dinosaur? Barney is purple. Purple is the correct yeah. answer. That was a good one. I oh, got one. All right. So the next category is miscellaneous potpourri. Okay. How many months have only 30 days in them? Okay. So 30 days has September, April, June, and November. So four. So four. 30 days has September, April, June, and November. Mm -hmm. All the rest have 31 except for February. Because has Yeah. It doesn't. That's right. All right, you're two for two. I wondered about me. that one, if you knew that kind of rhyme. Math, I've heard you used to teach math. I did. Okay. I did. Solve for X. Okay. I have some pen and paper available if you feel the need for it. Of course, I, I might need that. We had Coach Price last week answer one of the world's toughest math questions by just going like this. I know, but I saw. That's I don't, that guy. That's not, not going to be me. Solve for X, 3X. Plus five equals twenty-six. Oh man, give me the paper. I, I can figure it out. I gotta write visual. everything. I'm You're very vi visual. Well, Coach Price looked at the ceiling and saw it. Three. I can't. Three do that. X 
plus five equals 26. You're 26. on the clock now. Oh man, it's X is seven. Three seconds to determine that X is seven people. All right. She's three All for right. three. Now we move on to science. And this is a seventh grade science question no. verified by a seventh grade science teacher. In a cell, so we're thinking about inside of a cell. Okay. What structure provides energy for all of the cell's activity? Oh man, I, I, something came to mind, but then I'm, I feel like I'm gonna say something and it's gonna be wrong. So something might have Andre. come to your mind? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. I'll, I'll, I'll ask the question again. So something might have come to your mind? Right. But I, I, yes, I remember that beginning of a word. And I think you may have already said the end. So just say it for the people. Did I say it? Yeah. It, it, the end sounds like somebody who uh, thinks they're sick all the time. Oh, mitochondria? Yeah, uh, without the act. So good. Oh, good. You're now four for four. That's not what I was going to say at first, so yeah. thank you for that. Well, help. I think I just said mito and you said the rest. So, finally, social studies. You're from Texas, right? I am. I've never verified this, but I, am. I got asked all these Mississippi questions last week. And so here's a Texas history question, seventh grade. What famous flag commemorates the Battle of Gonzales? I have absolutely no idea. Hmm. I'm not a history person. Well, the answer's on my paper, and it's over here. If you were to try to take... <laughs> Just show me. Just show me what it is. No, I no you're not going to come and take these answers. I, don't, I have no idea. It involves a cannon. You history buffs out there are like, how do you not know yeah, this? Yeah, I know. Duh. You know right. the Texas flag with the cannon on it? It says something on the bottom of it? Nope. People in the town had a cannon. Uh, the Mexican army was like, hey, we want that cannon back because we gave it to you to fight off Indians, but now you want to fight us, so we need that cannon. And then supposedly a flag was put up, and the flag had a picture of the cannon on it, and it said... None of this rings a bell. I already said the answer. Well, I didn't know it. Come and take it. Oh, come and take if it. If I were to hold the answer. <laughs> no idea. I think someone's nervousness is starting to take over. Maybe. Well, it's been a long time One, two, since three, seventh four. grade history. Hey, but you were four for five, really on your own. Like the first three solid on your own. The fourth one you uh. figured out. I mean, once again, Coach Stinson, because I know you're watching. Sorry, Coach Stinson. I had to tell you about green beans in a can. So. Wait, what? I need to know that story. You watched it. Well, I don't remember that part. I remember, I remember Coach Price. My producer like doesn't this. even watch all of the I videos. Do, I do, I watch all the way till the end. It's bad as Piccolo. At least she got on the video, Piccolo. Oh wait, she's not watching anymore. No, Piccolo's not watching. Uh, capital city of Peru, Lima. I had to give him the hint of green beans in a can. Lima, Lima. Ah, uh, yes, 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 got it. Fizzy drink, Coke, pop, or soda? Uh, I call everything soda. Oh, soda. What's your favorite soda? Diet Dr. Pepper. Diet Dr. Pepper. Does it taste more like real Dr. Pepper? <laughs> I don't know. Dr. Pepper's too sweet. Yeah. Oh. But I thought Diet Dr. Pepper is the... I want to do the little thing. Is the sweet one. But you know, he doesn't... No, but that's regular out. Dr. Pepper, right? No, a little sweet. He's, he's Diet Dr. Pepper. A little sweet on the... Oh, uh, I know what you're talking about, but I thought that was regular. No. Okay. You don't... You must have TiVo. You don't watch commercials <laughs> like I do. No, I don't. Think I know the answer to this one. Cowboys or nah? Don't really care. You don't watch sports. I only watch sports if it's a family event. Got it. I-9, A-Y-S-A. That's right. Got it. Or if we get together to watch the Cowboys or something, I like that. Oh, because it's social. Yeah, and I know things, some things, because i got to stay up on it for right. Yeah, you got to look cool. Oh, you got to right. know for your kid. Yeah, he tells me lots of things, and i gotta, I got to know what he's talking about. And at these football-watching parties, they, there could be this uh, cheese dip there with Rotel in it. Uh -huh. right? And then you just add a little noodles and chicken. <laughs> you bring some noodles in your purse and just yeah. like dump it yeah. in there. And call it chicken spaghetti. Okay, That's right. there we go. All right, if you could get a gift card to anywhere, where would it be? Oh, that's easy. That would be Amazon. I oh, could buy anything I want on Amazon. That literally is a gift card to almost anywhere. Anyway. That's a great answer. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you're still being honest. Mm -hmm. If you only had one book to read on a rainy day, what would that book be? Just one? Sorry. Just Man. one. 
I'm a nerd. I can't books. imagine reading one book in a week. You're thinking about more than one in a day. I know. Well, <laughs> side note, over Christmas break, I took home like five books because I was afraid I would end up with no books, nothing to read. I was afraid I'd run out. That's super nerdy. Even right? though there's this thing called the internet. Yes, you like I know. The book? Yes, I can't read on the Kindle and whatever. I have, I like to have the book in my hand. That's respectable. So what book are you reading? Right now, um, I'm actually about to start a new one. It's called Window. I just got it from Coach Welk. Okay. So I haven't started it yet. So I that, just finished one. If there was a rainy day, that's the that's book. That's the book. Okay. All right, now this is a general question. It doesn't relate to anything. Fast or slow? Ooh, slow. Okay. Hot or cold? Hot. Really? Yeah. All right, slow and hot. Whatever. <laughs> What is your favorite chore to do around the house? I like if oh. you had to pick a chore. Like if I had to pick one that was my favorite? Yeah, Vacuuming like, is easy. You, it's easy, but do you like it? It's, all, it's instant results. Instant results, and you can see the lines on the carpet. I oh, like that. Oh, you must have a good vacuum. I, you, I or do. good carpet. Maybe I Both. got <laughs> neither. Hmm. I like to dust. Because that's instant results as well. I really like the smell of household cleaners. So I, I like it all. So if you I like have to do pick. chores? Well, sure. All right. What's the worst job you've ever had? <laughs> uh, let's see. Do you want to pick? Well, I liked working. Oh, so I'll say being a cart girl at Lantana Golf Club. Cart girl. So yeah. is that the person that drives around with the drinks? Yep. Oh, I used to work at a golf club, and I was a but I was a cart boy. They don't get to drive the golf carts with the with, drinks. No, they get to drive all the golf carts back to the place and wash them, and then oh, drive yeah, no. the thing that gets the golf balls, and people are hitting balls at you all the time. I actually enjoyed that. I thought the cart girls were kind of um, snooty because they thought they were better than us. But that was in Hattiesburg. I don't know where'd you work. What golf course? I was over at Lantana. Oh, you already said that. I did. I did. I liked the job. I liked being outside yeah. all day long. That was fun. But I didn't like certain aspects of it. I bet people could read into that. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what we're at right now. I don't... 15 I mean, maybe? Maybe. You talked a lot earlier about something. I don't oh, know what it was. <laughs> if you were not a teacher, Ms. Dominguez, what would you be? A millionaire? Oh, okay. A millionaire <laughs> shopping on I feel like you can only on be one Amazon. or the other, right? Oh, yeah. It can't be both, right? No. You can't I be think both. once you become a millionaire teaching, you, kinda, you become a consultant probably. Yeah, probably. Or one of those people on Facebook who just make fun of being a teacher because they're not a teacher anymore. That's right. I think I would like to... If I was a millionaire, I could travel, right? Yeah. I could travel or I could I don't think they would deny home. travel because you had money. That's right. right. I could do lots of things So you could do what money. you want. How would you get the million, though? Just... Oh, okay, Kaboom. if I Million. could like create things, yeah. just be crafty, and then oh, and actually them. have people buy them, yeah, yeah, that's what I would do. Well, you got a camera and a microphone, you could do QVC or something. I totally could. Make I I'd probably get as many views as... Just kidding. <laughs> if you could be asked any question, what question would it be? What do I want for dinner? What do you want yeah, for dinner? Yeah, I'm really hungry right now. No, I just asked you the question. Oh, oh, okay. I really want to go out to eat. <laughs> I want to go out to eat. That's my favorite thing to do, right? I thought this fun, this question would be funny. I thought this funny would be question, That's but funny. I didn't know it would be that. So the question you would love to be asked is, mm -hmm. what do you want to eat? Mm -hmm. Or tonight, where do you want to go to eat? That's right. All right. Is that, is so that what's right? the answer to the question? I would like to go have like chips and queso somewhere. That's what I want. Those are hard to find around here. Yeah, it's real Specifically, hard. what place do you go for the best chips and queso? I really like uh, on the border chips and queso. Yeah, they are good. They are really good. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I like, um, man, what's that one down in the shops that's it's slipping my mind right now? The shops. Yeah, I've had them. Blue Goose? Blue Goose, thank you. Yes. Yes, that is good queso. They have good chips and queso. Two for two on the queso. That's right. I'm sure there's some smaller places that have good queso as well. Sorry. Finally, my name is April Dominguez, and I am A. A. Oh, man. So I spent some time trying to figure out what people say in response to this one. Oh, really? Because at first I thought you were 
revealing once again you didn't really watch all of the no episodes. I do I watched them all okay so yes and I like them I so you the little like button you've thought about this answer then I have all right because I really want to say that I am a really shy person and this is way out of my comfort zone um, so I think you've done well I would I would think the audience uh, might thanks. agree at this point <laughs> thanks um, I also would like to say that I am totally ready for summer yeah mm -hmm. bet, yeah. yeah all those things I don't, I don't really have anything. Oh, like, so you've answered. I don't that. have anything excellent or like mind blowing to say there. Well, people, I'll tell you this, and I already Sorry. said it. Uh, it was kind of her vision to start this whole thing. So the immense success of Everyday Teacher that it's become is really mainly due to her. So she's got that going for her. Miss Dominguez, thank you for coming on the show. Maybe she does watch <laughs> till the end. Saying that, you have no questions for me, right? No, I have no questions for you. I tried to seek out some things, but what a nice guest to not ask me questions. I know it, well, it didn't. It didn't so work out. I feel kind of bad now for asking questions that might be somewhat personal, and you don't have one. So I will, whatever. Uh, as always, kids. Oh, wait, I have one. I should totally ask you. What do you listen to driving home on Friday afternoon? Hmm. It depends on the weather. Yeah. Um. However. Uh, it, it is a tradition of mine when the last bus leaves, because I have bus duty at the end of each day, when the last bus leaves and I go back into the building, and by this time most teachers are gone as well, Right. and there's a sound that you can hear in the halls that sounds like this. Well, you may have heard some noise in the halls <laughs> and that ain't it, but it is blissful silence. Mm -hmm. And so I love listening to that, but I usually put on a song called Roll Out. Uh, and play it as That's I'm walking one. to my office and then usually that means I got to play it in my car and I literally roll out on a Friday so I'm sure people have seen that before good question mm -hmm. yeah a lot of people wonder why that car is in this neighborhood <laughs> as I was saying earlier uh, yeah tune in most days for some stuff mm -hmm. on this channel because stuff is put up here there and yonder mm -hmm. um, and we're excited to announce that there'll be more stuff up next year. Just put some pressure on you because Miss Dominguez is going to be teaching a video class That's right. dedicated to this type of channel and stuff next year. But still, we got a couple of weeks of school left, so tune in as often as you can to see Everyday Teacher, AMS News, the weather. We had a weather video drop yesterday. We're always putting stuff up. So subscribe, like, watch us every week. We appreciate it. Anything else you need to say? I don't think so. Oh, she's just suffering through me keeping on talking. She's still on the <laughs> yeah, camera. Still All right, going. I'm going to say what I say. What are you going to say? I'm going to say peace out. Holla! <laughs>